Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Season 11 is finally over. So now it's time to go over our budget pool to see what monsters and rune we use to achieve that. As you guys are aware from watching my previous videos, my draft always consists of at least 3 free-to-play units. Actually, sometimes 2 but most of the time 3. This is where I draft my monsters from. So there's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... A few minutes later... Yeah, 16 monsters. Now let's talk about my favorite combination and how I pick most of my drafts. In this season, my go-to first pick is Ferd. And not Fran. I know I used to first see Fran, but now there's a new cancer aside from Hathor. This cancer is called Dapnis. If you pick Fran first, Dapnis is gonna one-shot one of your <laughs> unit, and then the opponent can just pick unit like Perna or Loren, who don't care about your immunity. You're screwed, man. So instead, I pick another versatile unit, which is Firth. And from then on, I just observe the opponent's pick, see what they pick, mm -hmm. and I'll just go accordingly. In case if the opponent got first pick and they took the Firth away from me, <laughs> who am I kidding, guys? If they get first, they're gonna pick Hathor. It really is true. <laughs> The downside of first picking Firth, guys, I always have to deal with this thing almost every match. <laughs> because Firth gives a lot of turns, in other words, Antares is a strong counter to Firth. So you have to think about how to counter this guy. Usually after picking Firth, I go Etna. Because Etna is a single target sleeper, which is still meta by the way guys. Siho, Etna, even Dapnis, a single target sleeper, also deal the damage so insane. Whereas Etna, she only strips and put debuffs but Dapnis is the most OP right now because he <laughs> I don't want to talk about him guys and then if the opponent doesn't pick immunity I will go Jian now usually this forces them to pick immunity but if they do then here comes Lauren but what if they don't pick immunity guys and if they pick another CC then I will pick the immunity I go Fela so, as you guys can see, it all depends on the opponent's pick. You cannot go with a certain comb that always works all the time. It always depends on the opponent's pick. And finally, I would usually finish with Triana, especially if I don't have immunity. Because Triana is a very good counter to Dapnis. With high resistance, Dapnis might get resisted with high resistance. As you guys can see, this meta is actually all about countering Hathor and Dapnis. These two are the cancer of RTA. If you have Hathor and Dapnis, you should be G2 guys, you should be G3! Remember guys, there is always a backup comm you can use. For example, let's say that the opponent get first pick instead of me, and they took the first away from me. You gotta adapt, right? So what I do is I pick my Ager, and then Lauren, because these two are also very versatile. Now I have two single target sleepers and a damage dealer. And then you just pick accordingly, and most of the time you're gonna end up with three free-to-play units and two premium units. Now that is what I call a budget comp. Okay, now it's time to talk about how to run with monsters and how to speed tune them. Keep in mind though that I'm a late game player and I'm able to distribute all my best runes to just 19 monsters. Nope. So, and also keep in mind that these runes are G2 quality rune. So if you just aiming for G1, there's a leeway. You don't have to have starting chain rune like me. After all, the gap between G2 and G1 is huge guys. Really, really huge. Mina. I actually just built her yesterday, so I haven't tested her out, but people say that she's good against Dapnis, cause you go pow pow and Dapnis go cry cry, right? But I'm not gonna tell you guys to build something I haven't proven to just yet. So let's go on, let's go on. Ah, Yeager. My backup in case if somebody picks Firth away from me. Almost never happen though guys, if they get first turn you know it, they're gonna pick Hathor. Who am I kidding? <laughs> That's why I try to run my Ager to be the fastest. Eh, to be fast, after all, single target steepers need to be fast. So that they move first and the CC can move after to land the CC. And since Firt is usually run the slowest in the team, like this, see my Firt is speed tuned to move last after everybody moves. Take a look guys. Faster than my third. Mm -hmm. Faster than my third. I don't use her, she's shit. So yeah, Yeager should have a high speed at third to shut down the third. Also, your Lauren. Make sure your Lauren faster than the third too. Now, for this season, my third's actually on wheel instead of the fence. 
Let me tell you a stupid story, guys. There was this one match where I have Fela against Hathor, but then the Hathor slapped my Fela. She procs, and then she used to sleep. My foot and Fela all asleep. What the fuck? Automatic loss, guys. So from then on, I just <laughs> yeah, I've had enough. My foot is gonna be on wheel. Guess what? It works wonder. Ah, Juno, my pride enjoy the counter CC. But the real reason you don't see her often is that she's always banned, guys. I only have one CC counter since my Tetra is not ready. So of course they're gonna ban my Juno. Just we wait until my Tetra is ready. We can counter up to this come together. For now, my Juno is always gonna get banned. Despair Revenge. I have a whole Reddit post about her, so I don't need to talk about her. Next, ah, this one. Since I don't have a lot of CC unit, guys, I can only use Vanessa to counter Cliff, so that I have two lives. But then again, I cannot use Vanessa to counter Dapnis. Guess what? He all he need to do is ban the Vanessa, and then the Dapnis one shot the Triana most of the time. If the Dapnis has front, then the Triana is not gonna live. As you can see, Dapnis cannot be countered by double life. So OP! Now to run with Vanessa is very easy. She doesn't need to be very fast. After all, she's just there for the speed lead and to be a wall. Just make sure she's on Violent Will, and then and just shoot around the status. Ah, Fela as well. <laughs> oh, this is my number one goat. This is my number one premium unit for the season, guys. <laughs> because since I cannot use front, I need another source of immunity. And this one can counter Hathor quite nice. Hathor has a chance to glance, but let's face it, it's, not, it's never gonna glance, because that's how stupid Hathor is. But with Fela, uh, really helped me get G2 this season. After all, you guys saw my video where I played Fela Jewel. He did get me G2, right? Now my Fela is on crit damage build Will Violent, and I make sure that he moves last, so that when she gives immunity, everybody is gonna get the attack bar after they move. So not after everybody almost has full attack bar and then he used the thing. What a waste, guys. And then your Ayla is gonna move and you only have to turn immunity. No thanks. Uh, fine guys, let's do this. Antares is a good counter to Diana and Firth. Tell me something I don't know, Taku. And to run Antares, you just need to make him very slow, some attack, some HP. Make him below 70% because <laughs> I know you're not that stupid, guys. And if I tell you why, I feel like I'm attacking your intelligence, right? So I'm not gonna tell you why. Diana. I rarely use Diana in this season because if I pick first, if I pick Fert first, he's gonna counter with Antares, right? So actually, there's no room for me to pick Diana after that, unless if I ban the Antares. And Diana is not that strong anyway. She can easily get control up and play it around like a doll. So slow. <laughs> She's not even a stripper. The only good thing about Diana is she can proc more than one time, being stupid. But then again, I don't like Diana in this season. Thanks a lot, Antares. Weehee, my second Pride and Joy. Like I said guys, if you wanna have an easy time in RTA, you need at least two premium unit that works for you. In my case, this season it's Atna and Pelagewell. So please tell me in the comment section what is your reliable two premium units that you can pair up with free to place. I would like to know, okay? Now Atna is a single target stripper, just like Siho, you need her to move before the CC. Now there's some changes in my Atna since Viho is introduced, right? I need to make sure that my Atna doesn't have a 100% crit rate so that among these 5 hits, one of them is not gonna crit and kill a Miho. Despair Will, I think is the best Atna. Make her tanky, doesn't really care about attack, but since I have the capability to make her fast, tanky and on crit damage, then I did it. <laughs> After all, she's my ace. I love her so much, I give her my best despair rune. Oh Fran, oh poor Fran, you and I we had a good time, didn't we? But now, there's this uh, fairy king with red hair, <laughs> who parts us away, so we cannot be together anymore Fran, I'm sorry. I even took your rune and gave it to someone. And that someone is guys, Lauren. Lauren needs to be on violent, actually it depends though on your Lauren, your Lauren can be on violent wheel or swift. But mine in this season is Violent Will. Because I think, yeah, it works better with my comp. <laughs> Lauren is so insane, she can shut down two units by herself. 
Now I give my Lauren my best violent speed set so that she can set up, disrupt the opponent's turn, and do whatever. Uh, I talked about her already and read it too many times, and I'm pretty sure you guys are bored of hearing it. So let's just move on. Jian, my only CC unit, guys. I mean, real CC unit. I don't count unit with only one turn CC as a CC unit. Guess what? The opponent is always gonna proc, okay? <laughs> so there's no point. You need two turn at least. And Jian is a free to play unit too. Except, you can only pick Jian if you pick Furt. That's why, the more reason I always pick Furt for my first pick. If not that, the opponent can counter Jian easily with Pheromos and then the Furt itself. The Furt is gonna give so many turns to the Jian. I mean, to the opponent, and then, what's the point of the Provoke, right? What's the freaking point, guys? For Jian, just make her like this. Spit on her accordingly to your monster. Also make her tanky and have some resistance. Now I have Elsarion here. I don't use him much. Not really that strong, actually. In fact, out of 100 mats, I only pay him once. And then, I kinda forgot he exists. Who's he again? And finally, we got Miho. The reason why I no longer have Raup in my pool, guys. This unit kills damage during comp. Except if you have Lauren and Bustet in the same comp of front, maybe. Then there's still a way to deal with Miho, but if you go pure damage. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all. That is the monster pool I use for this season. It's way less than season 9 and 10, isn't it? Yeah, we have way less monster we can use for season 11. It costs of the new monster they introduced. Daphnis. So now we have to think how to counter Hathor, how to counter Daphnis, these two most unfair units in the game. So for our next videos, we are going to be testing out the new balance pets buffed unit. And then we'll play with Mina maybe. Yeah. Until then guys, thanks for watching these videos and I'll see you again.